welcome back to Off the Record. Legendary vocalist Padmashri Aruna Sairam is going to be performing with Padmashri Mandalin U Srinivas on the 7th of September at Sir Mutta Venkata Subarao Hall. So we thought we'd do a little tete-a-tete -tete and talk about her work and her musical journey. Uh, very exciting because you're going to be singing at the opening ceremony of the Commonwealth Games. Tell us a little bit about w what you're planning to uh, sing. Uh, yeah, I am going to sing um, a absolute, um, you know, Carnatic vocal concert because... Uh, not Hindustani. Uh, no, 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 nothing because it's like representing all the gems that we have in our country at the Forum of Commonwealth Games. That's the uh, idea. So I'm going to be doing an absolute Carnatic hardcore concert. Is that your own composition? Mm, no, I will be singing traditional compositions. Mm -hmm. And some modern ones too. Oh, so it's like a kacheri. A kacheri, proper a kacheri, typical proper Not just kacheri. one number. No no no, 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 no. What are your thoughts on the younger generation who are so distracted by so many things? Uh, do you think they still make good students? Do you see uh, promise in them? Yeah, I at the moment don't teach. But um, I am thinking about something that is um, to me very important. And that is, you know, children I find there's one thing called learning music that, of course, one will teach and um, carry on this tradition. But children, by and large, don't know anything about the heritage that we have in terms of our music. So I want this information to be disseminated to all children, underprivileged children, people, children who would never get to listen to classical music. At least if they can recognize the names of the of Tyagaraja or Dikshitar or Purandar Dasa, they can recognize the composition. So I am working on a plan that can put that into place so that every child in every school um, can get some knowledge to appreciate music. So will you be going out there and doing it yourself or will you? Yeah, I would maybe to... at a certain point, but I would like to train people mm -hmm. who can carry out a certain devised sort of a program and um, teach and explain this to children. And also, Arunaji, because you do so many uh, collaborations, do you think that's become the order of the day? Do you think a, a solo Carnatic uh, musician or vocalist uh, stands a chance in the face of so many sort of jugalbandis that are happening? Of course. I mean, unless you prove your metal mm -hmm. in a solo, hardcore, very conservative situation, all the rest that you do is the icing on the cake. Mm -hmm. But if you don't do that, nothing else will cut ice, you know. So I think any musician will have to prove themselves on both sides and um, that's what uh, one is trying to do. No, I ask you that because you seem to be doing that very well. Yeah. Every December you're there in all the sabas performing yeah. and then you're off collaborating with German and French musicians. Yes. How do you manage the two? Uh, I mean, do yeah. you, can you take us back? What kind of journey was that being good at this and you know, forging partnerships with people across the seas. How did you manage to yeah. Or would you think it was a bit of luck as well? Uh, yeah, I suppose um, it was also a, a mindset that, you know, I always never saw borders in music. I feel that calling this something, calling that something is fine, but then saying that this has to be like this and it's very rigid and something should not be done, that you can't carry that too far. Because if you look at tradition, uh, Tyagaraja has been improvising and you know experimenting. That's how he became what he became. Purundar Dasa at his time was creating new genres mm. of compositions. Anamacharya did that. Dikshatar did that. He went to the north. He stayed in Kashi for several years and brought back all those wonderful ragas like Kumuda Kriya and Shubha Panthavarali and he composed epic pieces, Rangapura Vihara, for example. This is all from the north, you know. Mm. So they have been experimenting and maybe their peers didn't accept them when they were alive. But today we swear by that work. Mm. So uh, you, you have to be rooted, firmly rooted. At the same time, you have to be open uh, to every good influence that comes your way. But what stands the test of time is what has excellence in it. Mm. So I'm really glad that we uh, were able to pull this off. So all of you should come to uh, Sir Mutta Venkatesuba Rao Hall on the 7th of September. We're going to have all of Chennai the way we're going <laughs> on about it. But it will be one concert that you will not want to miss and it will be 
something absolutely unforgettable, I'm sure. Well, thank you for coming in the middle of all your rehearsals for this little chat. It's been a pleasure to see you and talk to you. And thank you for yeah. having me over. Thanks for joining us on Off the Record.